can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm -hmm. Yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired, Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I think I could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. I was this close to making it menthol flavor. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what? 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? This should be quick. What do you think? I'm happy to help. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard.
well. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Welcome to the Yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? <laughs> she didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Can I ask about you? I guess. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm, sure. Time's wasting, Hunter.
Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Hunter. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. The Venom creature surprised me before. He will not do so again. That thing's tougher than a flurkin furball. You better steer clear of him and his creepy slime shield for a while. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking, but then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification... Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Probably can scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. Himself fastest now. Hi, 
Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Fastest a bit of a crackpot, but its fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Let's do this! seen that before. a scratch. Uh. Looks like they have help. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? the light. How invigorating. I'm stuck. 
still in my prime. Time to bleed. Payback's gonna be fun. More of them are joining the fight. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? We're done punching out the bad guys. something. Temporary. I am forever. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not. Smash it. Yes. Nice move. That's a neat trick. Go! Now! Quickly! Let's go! 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 Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with?
kill. Weak, even for Hydra. Well, that's exciting. Don't blink. Maybe you should try something new. Focus here. Let's see how tough you are. Awaiting reinforcements. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you, there is dark magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Your fate is You are lucky to still be breathing. They cannot possibly match your strength. won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample of the initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Watch it. Exactly what I needed. No more... I think they can arrest you for that in New York, Blade.
Mission compromised. You're not serious, right? Quite <laughs> infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. You had your chance to. You were too weak for this fight. We've done it! We serve until the end! Looks like Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah. Heroes. A single world ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. Just like old times. Advantage while they focus on me. Not the advantage, but here come their friends. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter.
interesting. The light will carry you onward. You have my thanks. Watch and learn. The helicopter is back in action. Finish it off while we have the chance. Persistence.
just what I need. upper hand. No retreat. To your punishment. Your sacrifice will be is about to take off, and with it any hope of understanding what this madman is actually ranting about. We will stop it. Do not worry, heroes. You will still witness the results of my work firsthand on the field of battle. Just like old times. Monsters are wild and unpredictable. These Rentamurks have no gumption. I'm on it. Really your best. They haven't had enough yet. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to <laughs> Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. Yo! 
Your time has come. Weak, even for Hydra. Get lucky. They are still coming for me. Four lambs to the slaughter. Victory is nearly at The helicopter is back in action. Finish it off while we have the chance. Mention your mother. Apparently, she is promiscuous. Not a problem. They cannot possibly match your strength. to wear me down. Our loyal soldiers aren't the simple punching bags you've come to expect, are they? Somehow these humans, these mere mortals, dare to stand against ye fearsome gods. All is possible with mother! Judgment upon yourself. You are lucky to still be free. Ready up. Excellent. Now you'll need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces.
proceeding as planned. Taking the shot. living up to their reputation. As ordered. Follow my lead. Okay, that hurt a little. I see not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Too weak for this fight. Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. 